वेलकम टू सिंपली लॉजिकल दिस इज वेंकटेश इफ टू प्लस थ्री इक्वल्स एट थ्री प्लस सेवन इक्वल्स ट्वेंटी सेवन फोर प्लस फाइव इक्वल्स थर्टी टू फाइव प्लस एट इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी सिक्स प्लस सेवन इक्वल सेवेंटी टू वॉट इज सेवन प्लस एट फील फ्री टू पॉज द वीडियो एंड ट्राई यूर सेल्फ बिफोर चेकिंग द सोल्यूशन If you are new to the channel do subscribe to the channel and enable notifications so that you do not miss any of our videos Let's check the solution now there are multiple solution for this problem i will explain two solutions for this puzzle So i consider this as one of the uh, difficult uh, problems the kind of logic which is required in order to find the solution for these kind of patterns itself requires out of the box thinking As I have already told, there are multiple solutions. I am going to explain two solutions, two logics, uh, to attain this particular result. Try yourself and share your approach, how you have achieved, apart from the two logics that I am going to explain in this video. Let's analyze the problem. So, whenever you are analyzing these kind of problems, if you are not getting enough clues in the first math statement, check the second one. Here, first equation does not give enough information. Hence, move on to the second one. Here, the first equation is two plus three is equal to eight. So you cannot find or you cannot attain much information about this particular statement. So let's move on to the second statement. The second statement or equation is three plus seven is equal to twenty-seven. So the best way to solve is. first perform some basic math operations between numbers and check whether you could get some kind of clue here in the second equation if you multiply two numbers you will get 21 but it is not intended solution still there is a short of 6 because what is required is 27 but 3 into 7 is 21 now let's look into neighboring equations and check there are any chances of getting 6 with any basic operations here if you multiply 3 with 2 which is a number in the previous equation we get 6 so multiplying two numbers plus multiplying the first number with the first number of previous equation will get the result that is 3 into 7 is 21 Plus three into two, which is six, adding both results will yield twenty-seven, which is intended solution. Let's check the next equation and check whether this logic holds good. Let's multiply the two number four into five, which is twenty, plus four into three, which is twelve, adding both will yield thirty-two, which is again the intended solution. And this logic. is actually working and we have tested for two equations already let's check for the another equation in the next equation 5 into 8 is 40 plus 5 into 4 which is 20 adding both will yield 60 in this logic there is one problem that is for first equation in this logic we have to make one assumption that the first number of the previous pattern to this equation will be 1 because this is the first statement since there are no statement prior to this we have to make an assumption the previous equation is also starting with a number which holds good for this particular logic hence we have to make one assumption that the first number of the previous pattern to this equation will be one so that the logic will holds good for equation also multiplying two numbers will yield 6 Plus two into one, which we have assumed, will yield two. Adding both will fetch eight. That is an intended solution. So ultimately, the whole idea is to find the result of seven plus eight. Hence, applying this logic, seven into eight is fifty-six. Plus seven into the first number of the previous equation is six, which is forty-two. Adding both will yield ninety-eight. so this is the solution for this particular puzzle this is logic 1 if the question is asked not to make any assumptions to solve the problem then this logic will not work because we have already done one assumption that 
the prior equation of the first equation starts with 1. So let's check the second logic. The second logic is if the two numbers are x and y, then the equation to solve the pattern is x plus y equals x square plus xy minus x. That is square of first number plus product of two numbers minus first number. Let's validate now. Consider first equation. Here the square of first number is 4 plus product of two numbers is 6 that is 2 into 3 is 6 minus first number which is 2 will yield the result 8. Consider second equation square of first number is 9 plus product of two numbers is 21 minus first number is 3 which will yield 27. So consider the third equation to validate the logic 2. The square of the first number is 16 plus product of two numbers is 20 minus first number is 4. So which will yield the answer 32. Hence the logic holds good for first three equation. Now let's try for 7 plus 8. The square of the first number is 49 plus product of two numbers that is 7 into 8 56 minus first number is 7 which will yield 98. So in both the logic the result is same. Whichever is appropriate you can use it if these kind of questions are asked. But remember the first logic is based on certain assumptions whereas the second logic doesn't require any assumption to achieve the result. Do try remaining numbers. Share in the comment section if you find something interesting. Look, initially it may be a little complex to find the answer to this kind of puzzles, but through practice you can solve this in no time. That's all for this video. Hit a thumbs up if it found useful for you. Let's meet in the next video with one more interesting topic. Thank you.